everybody welcome back to another video the tea on mpd and relationships hello everyone to all of my new subscribers and new family members hello y'all welcome and to my tribe and family at large y'all know what a time what time it is fam welcome back thank you all so much for coming back and of course watching another video y'all know i love to always always mention our thursday night live streams this is where we go from healing to wholeness to boldness you don't want to miss the thursday night live stream all right listen 5 p.m pacific standard time this is where we make it all happen this is where the healing the restoration all of that good stuff happens all right so 5 p.m pacific standard time and y'all know listen every time we drop a video on the channel the goal of the day is 2.1k plus 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 if you rocks with your girl y'all hit that like button hit that like button hit that like button hit that like button y'all gonna hit that like button for me all right if you rocks with your girl hit that like button all right y'all let's jump into the topic of this video i want to talk about i want to talk about what your no contact oh first of all let me just say this narcissists hate no contact okay i'll talk about what it does to them and how they get you to break it narcissists hate no contact they hate it so now you've got your you know you 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 basically got your feel of the whole situation you done with it okay you don't let the narcissist know listen i'm done with you I'm about to go ahead and X this situation. I'm going to go ahead and put you right on out of my life. I'm done with you. Okay? Then you go no contact. Tell you. Here's the thing. Narcissists hate no contact. They hate it so bad. It's like it's a, it's like the holy grail for them. Okay? This is the holy grail of whatever type of punishment that they could get. And the reason it is, is because the narcissist, they need your energy. Okay. They need human interaction. They need to be able to interact with you. They need to be able to receive your energy and they need to do an energy exchange because, you know, energy is never destroyed. It's just transferred, right? So when we talk about an energy exchange, we're talking about your good energy for their terrible energy. Yes, that's what it is. OK, they need that interaction. They need that exchange. So when you decide to go no contact, they hate it because it denies them and it blocks them of that energy exchange. So basically you leave them I, let me just put it like this you leave them energy less yeah you leave them to just sit with their own energy with that they, they got to just sit in that pool that cesspool of negativity that they have created for their lives they got to sit in that okay they have to sit in that so when you go no contact what that does to them or what it's doing to them is it's forcing them to sit there with their own selves to listen to what's going on in their own minds, which is a lot of negative rhetoric. And there's no positive energy or anything positive to buffer that. What that does to them, and some of y'all have witnessed this. Some of y'all have gone no contact and heard about the narcissist having to go in to be checked in on a 72-hour hold. Uh-huh. Yeah that part because when you have that type of negativity on a supernatural level let me go ahead and put it like this demonic flowing constantly through your body and you ain't got nothing to basically combat that or to buffer that you gonna have a problem ma'am or you gonna have a problem sir you gonna have a problem so when you go no contact, what you what you have basically done is you've denied them of that positive interaction, that positive buffer to basically desensitize some of that negativity that they have. Because what they do is they push that negative energy off onto you. Right. That's why a lot of y'all come away from the situation or come away from that 
that whole interaction or experience feeling like, <clears throat> excuse me, what the heck was that? Like, tired, despondent, like, drained and drugged down, like, oh, you just tired, you don't know what to do. You're like, I mean, some of y'all are just, like, really despondent. I mean, yawning, falling asleep. I mean, the whole, I mean, you just like, you just drained. But that's because that's what they do. They drain your energy. That's why we people call them energy vampires because that's what they do. So when you do all of that, now the narcissist has to figure out some type of way to get you to come back. Because they don't have any way to offload this. And if they got a, a secondary supply or, you know, they got that back, that supply, that new supply. They have embedded that new supply long enough for you to be just going no contact. Because some of y'all just did it out of the blue. You just no contact. I'm just done. You told the narcissist, I'm done. And you just cut ties. The narcissist wasn't ready for that. So what you did was you discarded that narcissist before time. That's not allowed. Didn't you know? That's not allowed. So, because they hate it, and because of what it's doing to them, now they got to figure out, and this is how they manipulate you into breaking your no contact. Right? Y'all ready for this? Classic move. Y'all hear about it. The narcissist, well, let me just say this. Some of y'all left the narcissist, and y'all had bit unfinished business. Maybe the narcissist owed you some money or whatever. First thing the narcissist is going to do, even if you put in, if y'all sat down and came up with a agreement, a business agreement, the first thing the narcissist is going to do is violate those terms of the business agreement. That's going to force you to call. Break no contact. Another way they get you to break no contact. Watch this. They ignite that smear campaign and get the going and a going. And I'm talking about telling some hideous lies. Y'all know. Hideous lies. And they are talking. I'm talking. They talking big time stuff. They talking about. So you like. Uh, but that never happened. Uh, I didn't do that. They actually did that to me. I know. Yeah. Right. They did that to you, but they saying that you did it to them. Break no contact. Why are you talk, why are you lying like that? Why are you saying that I did this, that, and the third, and you know it was you? You know you. That's how to get you to do it. And let's just say this. They discarded you. So the no contact, you was like, okay, don't call me. Don't say nothing to me. But they didn't give you closure. You sitting there thinking about what this clown did to you, how they did it, how they got down in the situation. You're like, you know what? I'm going to call this clown because they ghosted me, basically. And I'm just going to ask them, like, what did you mean? Like, how do you, like, why would you do something like that to me? Break no contact. See, what you have to understand about no contact is no contact is not for the narcissist, it's for you. For you to heal, become whole, and to do things better, right? But what the narcissist sees no contact as is they see it as punishment. They see it as you asserting your right and authority to basically control how your energy is going to go. A narcissist don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that. They don't want to be, they don't want you to have any type of control over your being. They want to control you. So when you take your time, your interaction, your energy away from them by going no contact, they hate it. Not only do they hate it, but it destroys them little by little on the inside because they don't have anywhere for that negative energy to go. And unless they have a new supply to offload it on, you basically left them without it. I mean, you basically left them like a car without wheels, right? This is why they hate no contact so much. But 
because if you're not if you're not wise enough to their games these are i just mentioned to you ways that they get you to break it you know they get you to break it they'll act they'll come to your house come to your job you know start acting up with the kids you know smear campaign lying on you doing breaking business deals and agreements this is how they get y'all to break no contact and when you break co no contact you get emotional and that's what they want right they hate it but what it's doing to them is the same thing that they want to do to you they want to make you as miserable as they are because you have implemented no contact don't let them do it to you when you go no contact you got to stay you got to stay in that thing you got to stand on business you got to stay 10 toes down on that no contact and you got to let them have that you got to let them have it because if you break it and they and they and whatever they did to cause you to break it that's the same thing that they're going to keep pressing on each and every time and if it, whatever it is that they got you to break no contact if the first level of pressing on that thing don't make you break and go break no contact, they're going to keep going harder and harder in the, in the paint in that same thing. You got to learn how. And if you want to be successful in no contact, you got to be unbothered. Narcissists hate when you're unbothered. They want you to be bothered. Okay? So, this is, they hate it. That's what it does to them. But also, if you don't know their tricks and manipulation, they're going to get you to break it every single time. All right? So don't let them do it to you. If they run in a smear campaign, let them run it. Whoever wants to run, whoever wants to believe it, let them believe it. Because they probably going to believe the narcissist no matter what anyway. So just let them go on and do whatever they do. If, they, if it's a business deal and agreement, get your attorney to handle it if you can. If not, sometimes you might just have to take an L in that case just to get rid of the bird. You see what I'm saying? But this is what it does. All right? So, family, I love you all. Be real smart about no contact. Make sure you're keeping all angles closed off to them as much as possible. And guess what? This is the way that you really go and begin your healing and your separation from the narcissist. All right? I love you, family. And I will see you all on the next video. And I will see you all healed and whole at the top. Shalom, family.